I'd like to um, acknowledge uh, a couple of our fighters who will be fighting on the undercard this Saturday. Uh, we have Ladarius Miller, he's 7 and 0 from Memphis, Tennessee. He's one of Mayweather's most fighting stars. I'd like to acknowledge Michael Hunter. Um, he's from the 2012 U.S. Olympian, fighting out of Las Vegas. Excellent young fighter. He'll be fighting Michael Bassett of Tampa, Florida. I'd like to uh, bring up Andrew Tabidi. He's one of our very, very best young fighters. Uh, he's a knockout artist. He's 10 and 0 with 10 knockouts. He'll be facing Roberto Santos in an eight round cruiserweight bout. Come on up, Andrew. Thank y'all for coming and supporting. Um, you know, it's a blessing being here once again, um, doing something I love doing. Uh, I want to thank Leonard Ellaby, my manager on the Juan Blade, and the promoter of Floyd Mayweather. Um, I'm just coming here to do work and um, just be a fair by show. So um, thank, thank y'all and thank y'all for supporting me. Love all y'all. Uh, we, have, we also have a 10-round featherweight showdown between Rico Ramos and Claudio Moraro. In the back? Oh, come on up, Rico. Let's go, Rico. Um, first, I got to thank God, first of all. Uh, I want to thank uh, Mayweather Promotion, Goose, and everybody for coming out. Um, we just gonna put on the show. We ready and we gonna get this W. Thank you. I'd like to bring up Isaiah Thomas. He's 14 and 0 with six KOs, and he's fighting out of the D, Detroit, Michigan. He's a highly decorated amateur, and he'll be looking to maintain his undefeated record this Saturday. Isaiah. I want to thank everybody for coming out for the support. I want to thank PBC, Al um, I'm just here to showcase my talent on the national stage and go to work. Next up, I'd like to introduce uh, Jordan Shamal. He's 19 and 0 with 16 KOs. He's from Hudsonville, Michigan. And he's ended his last seven bouts inside the distance. Come on up, Jordan. Keep it short, so we just uh, appreciate this opportunity. Uh, thanks for everybody coming out, and I hope to have a great crowd Saturday. Uh, I know myself and all the fighters on stage and uh, other fighters that aren't uh, on stage or even here, uh, you know, put a lot of hard work to put on a good show for everybody Saturday. Uh, thank you for PBC, uh, all the promotions getting this, uh, getting us here on TV, NBC, and uh, my advisor Al Hammond. So thank you, everybody. Next up, the main event fighters. Um, this next gentleman, uh, I've been knowing him for many, many years. Very exciting fighter. Um, he's 31 and one with 20 KOs, and he's fighting out of Chandler, Arizona. He's coming, he's coming into this battle with a seven fight win streak, and he's a proud member of the PBC and the NBC announced team. None other than Mr. BJ Flores himself. I would like to thank everybody for being here. Um, thank Leonard, of course. I've had the opportunity to know Leonard for a long time. Great boxing guy, great boxing mind, and uh, great to be to be here with Leonard now on this stage. I want to thank Al Heyman for having faith in me, uh, changing my life, giving me opportunities like this to be up on the dais with all these great fighters on the on the stage here, uh, to be featured in a main event. I want to thank Louis DeCubas Jr. for having faith in me and to, uh, you know, everything he's done for me. Louis, we go way back and uh, thank you so much for, for getting me this opportunity. Everybody so far has been very short on words. Um, I'm a little different. I'd like to talk. And, uh, you know, one thing I'm going to say is I'm just very excited about this fight and this whole event. You know, we got a night of cruiserweight boxing. Uh, you know, we got, you know, Andrew Tabidi, a kid that I've had the chance to work with many times. Very good fighter when he was just an amateur. I actually tried to sign him to something before he even turned professional because I saw a lot of talent in him a long time ago. Jordan Schimmel, multiple time U.S. champion, won the U.S. championships like I did myself. You can't, they don't give those, those trophies and those belts out 
you know, for free. They're, they're very difficult to win. So I'm expecting big things from Jordan as well. And Isaiah Thomas, very good fighter. And keeping an eye on these guys watching because you never know who you're going to fight. And now we're all up on this deos together. It's just going to be a great night of fighting. As I look back at my career, there's a lot of things I wish I could have changed and done things differently. Um, when I signed, uh, when I turned professional, I signed with main events. Great promoters, had some changes, went with Square Ring, um, Silver Hawk, switched things around a lot. And I've made a lot of mistakes in my, in my professional career. Things I should have done, things I shouldn't have done, things I should have said, things I shouldn't have said. And uh, I feel like this Saturday night, I have a chance to right all the wrongs. Everything that I should have done or shouldn't have done, I can erase all that on Saturday night. Something that's very motivating for me is my one loss in Australia when I traveled over to Australia to fight Danny Green. Um, one thing very interesting about that, he was a great fighter, world champion at 168 and 175, and IBA champion at, at 200. He was a very good fighter, but one thing very interesting about that fight is that the contract weight was 194. And I told my manager, I said, there's no possible way I can make 194 and fight 12 rounds. There's no way I can do it. My manager said, you know, you just got to train harder, run harder. This is before Alan Louie, of course. Got to train harder, you know, work harder, do everything harder. My body physically wouldn't allow me to make 194 pounds. When I got to Australia, I was sitting right around 204, 205, traveling, jet lag. It was very difficult for me to get down to that weight. I did make 194 um, for that fight before Danny Green. I went in, I fought the best of my ability, and it wasn't enough at 194 pounds. At 200 pounds, I've never lost, and I'm not going to lose on Saturday night either. I've got a lot of confidence and a lot of motivation coming into this fight. Babe Ruth is a very, very good fighter, and I've taken this fight more seriously than any other fight in my entire life because I know the dangers that this man possesses, and I'm ready for those dangers on Saturday. I'm ready to lay it all out on the line and cement anything that I didn't do or that I should have done in my career on Saturday night, and I'm really, really looking forward to stepping in the ring with this man to my right over here. He's a very, very good fighter. He's very good. They don't give light heavyweight world championships out for free or because they're easy. He earned it, everything he's got in his career he's earned, and I'm looking to get mine on Saturday night. Thank you so much for coming out. Get there early, that's gonna be a great night of boxing. Thanks to Mayweather Promotions, thanks to Leonard Allen, Ellerby, Al Heyman, Louis DeCubas Jr. I'm looking forward to a great night of fighting. I'll see you guys on Saturday. Yeah. Next up, um, I'd like to introduce this gentleman. He's a former light heavyweight world champion. Um, he's coming to us from Pakistan. He's fighting out of Las Vegas. And we'll be definitely looking to make his mark come this Saturday. Um, his record is 15 and 2 with 10 big KOs. None other than Babu Shumanov. Thank you. I'm very happy to be part of uh, PBC. I'd like to thank my manager, El Hemi, for giving me this opportunity. And I'd like to thank uh, Mayweather Promotions, uh, TGB Promotions, for organizing this event. Uh, my training camp went excellent. It's my best, uh, actually, training camp that I didn't have to struggle uh, losing weight. Uh, I'm blessed to have a great trainer like Ismail Salas. My assistant trainers, uh, Jeff Ramoja, uh, Radi Chrysler, uh, all the hard work has been done. So I'm ready to fight, and I'm ready to fight with anybody. I want to fight with all the best fighters. So I wanna, I'm ready to prove that I'm the best uh, cruiserweight. And I'm looking forward to fight on Saturday night. Thank you. This concludes the press conference. I'd like to pose the fighters.
Guys are going to hang around to do one-on-ones for a little while if you want to grab them for more interviews.